have uh, seen the recent trends that uh, MBA personnel or the management personnel are uh, highly in demand in the industry. So at that point of time, I found it a very good career op option and uh, so that's why I joined MBA and whatever one or two relatives in my family were, had also done MBA so and like they gave positive feedback regarding it, so that's why I joined. Excellent. You are an HR candidate. Can you please tell me how to motivate oneself? How do we motivate ourselves? There are two types, two things under motivation like our motivating others and another thing is we should be able to motivate ourselves. What steps would you suggest me supposing I want to motivate myself? Feel, feel free to share, feel free to share. So the basic uh, thing that could motivate oneself, I believe, is setting the goals and thinking about the rewards. If you if you uh, if you think that the rewards which you are going to get after doing certain work, and that uh, reward itself proves the proves to be the biggest motivation for anybody to perform this. Good. Uh, are you a motivated person? I hope yes. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. yes. Good. Yeah. What do you want to be after five years from now? Say in official career, how do you see yourself five years from now? So if I get, get placed as a professional officer in any of the reputed banks, then definitely I would like to see myself getting promoted to one or two grades. Excellent. One or two grades. Are you aware how many scales are there in the officer grade? There are seven scales. Scale 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Seventh grade is GM, general manager. So, would you like to rise in career up to GM level or something less than that? So, if I get the opportunity to rise up to GM level, I would definitely love to, that, uh, to be a part of that. Excellent. Now, um, can you tell me the name of successful b women into banking? You have any names? So, I have many names. Uh, yeah. I can name about uh, like Sandha Kochit, yeah. the CMD of ICCI Bank. Yeah. She's uh, one uh, successful woman entrepreneur in yeah. the banking sector. Yeah. Then I can name about uh, Arundhati Bhattacharya, mm -hmm. the CMD of SBI Bank. Yeah, in fact, she was the first woman to lead State Bank of India in the last 200 years. Yes, sir. And tell me, tell me. Uh, you are aware of Usha Anand Subramanian, what is, yes. what is she? So she is the chairman of uh, Bharatiya Mahila Bank. Yeah, Bharatiya Mahila Bank. Good, good, good. Uh, you know, after the, say, when did Mr. Modi take charge as Prime Minister? Sir, last year in May, in May 2014. May 2014. Um, how do you find, uh, is there any change in... Um, UP or Lucknow on account of his coming or how what is the feeling about because Akhilesh Yadav is belonging to some some other party na Samajwadi party uh, he, yes sir he, 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 Samajwadi party so in the elections what happened in UP is it that uh, BJP won more seats or Samajwadi party won more seats uh -huh. so basically uh, as you can see that India is witnessing lot of change on political uh, fronts and uh, in a way, India is moving towards growth and uh, because uh, as we have seen in recent uh, political elections of different states that uh, BJP is coming successful in uh, many states. Excellent. So, yeah, good, so good, nice, nice, I think. BJP is not present so, and the elections are scheduled in next one or two years. So, a party is already prevalent over here are getting worried of being eliminated. So definitely after BJP has taken uh, charge uh, in India and in different states, the chief ministers of various states where BJP is not there, they are uh, improving their working standards and uh, doing uh, good. Very good, good, very good, very good. Excellent, very good, very good. Did you exercise your franchise? Uh, when you go uh, in the voting in the elections? Yes, I, I voted. You voted. Very good. I am not asking you to details. That's good. Now, you are an HR candidate. Uh, can I ask in HR or finance? Sir, anything. I just uh, would like to 
as I may like. Very good. Let me ask first in HR, what are the qualities that are required for a successful leader? The uh, successful leader should have the qualities of uh, being able to lead the team, uh, effective supervision, yeah. first and foremost. Okay. He should have the capability of keeping himself in the shoes of others also. He should not be very autocratic and uh, very uh, dominating kind of a person. In, instead you can say empathize. He must empathize with others. Simply, one word will take care of that big ah, sentence. He, yeah. should, he should be empathetic. Yeah. Then? And uh, he should be uh, a good decision maker. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, that's all. These are the qualities you feel that are required for becoming a, a leader and the good qualities of a leader. Excellent. Now, let me come to finance. Uh, can you tell me a few points about RBI? The RBI is the central bank of India. Yeah. Uh, it is the central bank of the country. Yeah. As well as it acts as the banker of the bank, banker of the government. Excellent. And, uh, Good, good. of the currency. Yeah. Plus also, it, uh, you know, takes up measures to maintain the economic balance in our... Very good. I'm really happy about the last point you said, that RBI is taking measures to take care of the economy. Can you tell me the recent measures taken by RBI? Uh, recent measures... Recently, two, three days uh, back. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's Repo rate. By how many points? The point 0.25. Point 0.25 percentage. Good, good, good. Do you think it will help the economy? Definitely, sir. It will help the economy. In what way? <coughs> yes, sir. In what way it will help the economy? Okay. So, basically, reducing repo rate means uh, RBI is infusing uh, high liquidity in the market. Good. Because of because of which the uh, availability of liquid cash will be more in the market and uh, the purchasing power of the economy will increase and uh, ultimately the phase of inflation will come yeah, down. will come down. Good, good. Now the point is, um, say, did you go through the balance sheets of banks because you are a finance student? Uh, no. No. Why don't you... I suggest you go through one or two balance sheets of banks. Which bank do you have an account? Sir, so, I have an account in ICICI Bank and PNB. PNB, forget about ICICI. Tell about PNB. Okay. Um, uh, to an extent possible, when you communicate here for the IBPS interview, talk about public sector ones. Okay. Uh, you said PNB. You go through the PNB balance sheet and find out what is the total deposits advances. They may not ask. But if you are familiarizing yourself with the different components of balance sheet, that will be really helpful. Okay. Okay, I am asking a very simple question. Why is uh, capital shown under liabilities in the balance sheet? So because uh, the capital which is the balance sheet which we are preparing is for the company. And the capital which is being invested to the company is provided by the owner of the company which is a separate entity. Good. So when owner is giving some money to the, the to the company, which is a, again a separate entity, so that company is becoming uh, liable to, you know, return that the shareholders as well as the revenues to back to the owner. Excellent. So that is why that that invested amount by the owner to the com in the company is known as is is uh, matlab, is referred as a liability. Excellent, excellent. Very good. Now, what is the difference between a debenture holder and a shareholder? Debenture holder and a? And a shareholder. Shareholder. Okay, sir. So, basically, share is... Uh, no, no. I am asking only the difference in the relationship of shareholder and uh, what is that? Um, debenture holder. No, no, sorry, you are struggling, sorry, excuse me, you are struggling here. The shareholder is the owner of a company, whereas a debenture holder is, a, a, say, 
a creditor. Yes, sir. He has provided funds. Yeah. And he is eligible for fixed rate of interest. Whereas in the case of shareholders, only if the company earns profit and a dividend is declared, he will get money. Yeah. I know you I know you have this in your mind, but you are struggling to put it. That's why um, that is a point. No, no problem. That's not an issue. Because don't worry about not answering one question or two questions. Your performance will not be decided based on your answer for one question only. Is that okay? Yes, sir. Yeah. Shanti, please tell me, what is your father? Sir, he is a businessman. Sir, uh, he is into manufacturing of leather chemicals used for the finishing of shoes and uh, uh, leather. Oh, good, good, good. He is in business. Have you ever had opportunity to help your daddy in his business? Uh, never, sir. Not really, sir. Because it's my father. I know. That Maybe they won't permit a girl to go to the business. Yes, it's a, it's a completely man-oriented business. So he never ever allowed me to come into his business. That's true. Uh, that's okay. Maybe that is, is the way they look at it. Then how many siblings you have? I am the only child of my parents. Only child? Do you think it's right to be an only child and or the only child is put in handicap? You have no control over it. But still, uh, what? how do you feel? Is it uh, is it good for having only one child so that, that uh, and or the reverse? I mean, to have more children is good. So, every, every aspect has problems. From your experience? Yes, sir. So, my experience is like, very nice. You get the maximum attention from your parents or your, uh, you know, demand gets put easily. But on the other hand, at, at times I feel like I should have a brother or a sister with whom I can share my feelings and, you know, the basic... Uh, yeah, uh, sibling uh, sharing will be an ideal one. Good, good. That's a... Uh, yeah, I, I'm happy you told the answer nicely. Good. Yes. Um, now, what are your hobbies? My hobby is to read and uh, and cook. Oh, because, uh, good, good. You are you like cooking? Normally, women do not. Many of the girls they never use the word uh, cooking because you know they fear about cooking. Okay. But it's a must. You know, vegetarian or non-vegetarian cooking? I'm pure vegetarian, so I just know how. Which to dish you can make very well? So any Indian food like chole, rajmahan. Very okay. good, very good, excellent. Do you help your mother uh, frequently in day-to-day uh, yes. -day duties? Yes, I do. Excellent. That's good. Now, coming to banking, uh, who decides the rate of interest on savings bank accounts? The individual banks. Excellent. The bank, the board of directors of the individual banks will be deciding on that. In their board meeting. Yeah, yes. excellent. Um, then... Uh, what is the difference between your savings bank account and a current account? So basically, in current, uh, the savings bank account is, based, as the name suggests, is used for saving purposes by individuals, whereas the current accounts are used for business purposes for frequent transactions, mm. and uh, the savings bank account offer four percent to six percent interest rate, whereas in current accounts, mm. no interest rate is provided to the customer. Yeah, on the contrary. Charges are levied. Yes. In the case of current account, they have to yeah, pay charges also. Uh, rather, a huge amount of uh, you know minimum balance has to be maintained in current account. Yeah, yeah. What is the minimum balance in respect of savings accounts? So one thousand. Exactly. Correct. One thousand is right. Do you think it is lesser amount or it can be revised? But I guess it's all right. It is all right. Okay. Then did you? Take up some coaching for bank examinations? No, sir. Self-preparation. Self-preparation. Do you think it's uh, okay for one to prepare individually? Or uh, or don't you feel that you are handicapped in that other children get more um, active coaching in other places? You know, okay. is it because your parents were not willing to send you for coaching or you did not opt for it? Actually, I have a very, very detailed view on this question of yours. Thanks for asking this question. Mm. Actually, it's a self-experience, sir. So, uh, I believe that when a person starts preparing on his own or on her own without taking help of any coaching, the person in itself becomes quite even more, uh, you know, responsible for his performance. Mm. 
and uh, whereas a person going to a coaching institute may may be uh, may become dependent on them only or the material provided by them mm. so and he won't be you know giving or giving on extra efforts for you know for yeah. collecting and preparing for the exam whereas you know a person preparing on himself he feel uh, that the responsibility you know i have to collect matter extra to put in that extra effort to be successful and the result is in front of you have qualified my your examination as well as medical good good i can uh, i can get your point but sometimes when you come across a topic with which you are not familiar you are a biology student sometimes when you come across a topic like uh, say uh, algebra or trigonometry something like that luckily it is not there in uh, pivo so um, when, when you come across such topics how will you manage so i uh, i used to download youtube videos and there is lot of material like i was not very good at the probability so i downloaded i watched many videos over the youtube and just learned that and i was able to attend all five questions which came in excellent this is one way good that you can learn through video also namely you can listen to that and watch the way it is being handled excellent. and have a book along with you and then read that's good i really appreciate you then have you ever heard about the term basel norms yes sir what is it about so basically basel norms have been formulated by the basel community which is uh, set up in uh, you know in switzerland there is a hmm yeah yes bank over there mm. they have formed a basel committee which recommends the uh, the basic banking norms for each and every banks to uh, should follow mm. in order to avoid the uh, the risks associated mm. in uh, lending the money to the customer so that you know in case of crisis mm. uh, if a lot of npas uh, have you heard, okay i understand i understand very good that's nice okay but um, oh, that's okay now can you have you ever heard the term a run on banks what do you understand by the term a run on banks so i said not not uh, run on banks means people coming to bank in large numbers and trying to withdraw funds when they hear that the bank is in problem or something like that they want to withdraw as much money as possible from the bank and the bank will be put into difficulties of having to uh, honor the commitments sometimes it i have had experience when working in indian bank that um, a lot of monies were withdrawn and the bank had to take steps for uh, paying making payment to them that was because when a bank balance sheet negative balance sheet that is loss balance sheet was uh, came out you know there was a lot of run on the bank okay okay who is the finance minister of our country tarun jethi excellent who is the defense minister sir uh, manohar parikar manohar parikar that's good um now uh, which ratios are useful to in terms of balance sheet analysis a which ratios are useful to design decide about whether we should finance to a company or not so see our current edit, uh, capital adequacy ratio okay then uh, current current uh, to um, sorry i can't recall now i i suggest you revise your uh, ratio analysis also Uh, and uh, if necessary I'll, i if necessary i'll send a link of the powerpoint that has been posted by indian institute of bankers yes sir indian institute of bankers themselves have come out with a powerpoint on this ratio analysis i will send it to you okay yeah then um, so uh, you are not familiar with ratio analysis now let me skip that question and now um now coming to banking lot of questions are there in banking um why do we why do companies adopt depreciation why do companies depreciate their uh, assets charge depreciation charge depreciation on their assets yeah you know every company is adopting depreciation you know they will charge depreciation as an expenditure why companies are charging depreciation it's you on know 
uh, in, not in the balance sheet, in their profit and loss account. You know, companies are charging depreciation yes. because the value of the assets comes down by virtue of wear and tear and also usage. Yes, sir, because of the I, I know, I, 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 I'm sure you must be aware of it, but you are not able to get my question properly. See, because the um, a vehicle or machinery is put into usage, its value comes down and at any date on a balance sheet date, the value because that is shown... Yeah, that is the reason. So you must be able to explain about that. That's okay. Fine. Now, um, next question is about, what do you understand by the term a recession? So basically, it's a, it's a phase of economic slowdown yeah. of, a, of a country. Good, 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 good. You got the point very nicely. Economic slowdown, that itself will do. Now tell me, under priority sector, what percentage of advances should be given to agriculture? So I guess 12 percent? No, it is 18 percent. 18 Total priority sector is 40 percent. Total is 40 percent, but... 40 percent of... No, no. 40 percent of the total advances. Yes, sir. And then 18 percent should go to agriculture. Okay. 10 percent to small business. 10 percent to small business. I have posted a blog on that in sbank.in. You are aware about sbank.in? Yes, sir. Very good, very good. Now, let me ask one more question. Final question. Yeah. Mm. If you get this job, will you be ready to work anywhere in India? Yes, sir. No problem. I have worked hard so much to come here and if I an Supposing you are posted to Delhi. Uh, no problem, sir. I just want to... Will your family send you with uh, for work to Delhi? Sir, I'll, I'll definitely move, sir. How will you manage in a new place? Sir, I have relatives in Delhi, so initially it will be difficult for me to get it there. So Supposing you go to a place where there are no relatives? No, sir. Uh, if, if, if I'll be, I'll, I'll be re relocated to a place where I have not got, I don't have any relative over there, then definitely uh, my father will come over there and, you know... Put you into a hostel. In, in, in yes. Put you into a hostel, that's good. So you are confident about that? Yes. Very good. I'll, uh, sorry, I, uh, let me ask you, how many questions did you answer in the PO? I have answered 118 questions. 118. How many marks do you expect out of this? I am expecting... Around about 95 to 100. 95 to If it is 100, it's really good. If it is 100, you will certainly get it. I'm not sure. I'm just guessing. Yeah, if you get 100, that's good. 90 means maybe even 85 is okay. But only thing is, you must get that much percentage. Good, good. Because there are candidates who have come out successful after answering only 92 questions also. Yes, sir. Biggest percentage of, are of those only who have answered 90 to 100 questions. Yeah, yeah. That's what it is. Good. Very nice. Now, um, I think I have asked you basically most of the questions. You have any questions to me as an interviewer? I mean, this is not official, personally. Whatever questions you feel will be useful for you and also for other candidates. Sir, I have a few questions. Yeah. Basically, they are not related to, you know, I won't be asking them to the interview, but for my personal... Uh, yeah, for your clarification, for the before going for the interview. Sir, first of all, how would you rate my interview? Now, you were able to answer very nicely. Uh, 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 you were able to answer very nicely, and but some words you are using quite often. But that that is the case with many of us. I am not sure which word I am using quite often. In your case, the word is basically. Okay. The basically is a word which you are using quite often. That is nothing wrong, but basically using basically quite often may create a, say no, a sort of, um, I mean, ah, you understand? I am happy, I am happy you are smiling. Yeah, I am, no, no, not embarrassed. I am happy you are laughing. That's good. I wanted you to laugh. That's good. Now the point is, um, you were very good, but please permit me to say, in some places, probably you could have been slightly briefer than what you were. Briefer? Ah, I mean, less, less talkative. I mean, 
you, you, I mean, for example, that empathy, for that empathy, you have to go round about, you know, instead of telling the word empathy. Yes. So that is one example I remember. Other places you did really well. Let me rate this performance. Um, if you permit me to say openly, okay. Uh, say somewhere around 8.5 to 9. Thank you so much. Uh, 8.5 to 9. And uh, only thing is, uh, you have to revise your knowledge relating to finance to some extent. You are an MBA finance, certainly you will get a lot of questions relating to finance, under finance ratio analysis, cash flow, funds flow, and about balance sheet, different components of balance sheet, what are guarantees, why certain things are shown under both sides, contra accounts likewise. The questions can be uh, asked more in that regard also. Apart from, you also go through um, the bank uh, website of Punjab National Bank and try to know how internet banking is operated, how mobile banking is operated and what are the recent schemes they have introduced, etc. And also, as usual, KYC norms and all these things you must revise once again. And uh, I, of course, I never asked you a question on that. Please revise them and be thorough with that. And be able to tell it briefly. The, 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 I think I must have told in my first video on interview, the success of an interview depends upon our presenting things briefly. Now I am talking in detail because I consider it as a class, so I thought I can share information to you through you to other candidates. Yes, sir. So when we talk, you must be able to talk briefly and communicate to that way. That way. That's the only thing, otherwise you are able to do it very well. Dress yourself nicely, not with very, say, a big jewelry and all that. You you must have been told about it many times, and also and also not uh, scent and all that. Not not scent too much scent. Yeah, yes. You must be aware. These are the things which we normally tell, and I am sure as an HR candidate you are quite conversant about all these things, and go with confidence with a smile. And so shall I uh, study about my graduation also that. Uh, to some extent, yes, biology, biology ka baare mein thoda thoda padhoji. But I, I, I don't know which area you will get question. But uh, still, um, let me make a try on that also. Let me it's ask. It's a very vast, vast uh, yeah. topic. I it's a vast one. It's very... It's been five to six years since I've come I know. Study. Then you can say, sorry sir, I have not prepared. If at all they ask some questions, um, then maybe you, you can say, sorry sir, I am not aware. I, but why don't you do one thing? General knowledge on biology, oh, at least you be aware about it. Yeah, that I am aware because I have been taking classes. You know, oh, classes, so excellent, excellent. Yeah. Ordinary table salt is sodium chloride. What is baking soda? Oh. Sodium chloride, you just said. No, no. Ordinary table salt is sodium chloride. So what is baking soda? I don't know that. Sodium bicarbonate. That's okay. Okay. Moment of cell against concentration gradient is called what? Please don't ask me sir. <laughs> no, I suggest, I will send you the link of this uh, general knowledge phase. It's only objective questions. Hello? Uh, yes sir. I will send this to you. You just go through that to some extent. Don't have a feeling I don't know. That, that complex itself will make you feel diffid, diffident when they ask a question on something related to biology. 100% they may not ask because you are going to stress importance on MBA. Yes, sir, yes, sir. That's what it is. Or you can do this way also. After my, uh, I, I, you straight away introduce yourself as an MBA graduate in HR and finance. After doing BSc, simply leave it blank purposely. Which subject let them ask. Okay. Is that okay? That's that's the best way of handling. Any other doubts, please? Welcome. Um, sir, you are answer. You are asking very well. You are answering very well. No problem. Tell me. Sir, we just I just want your uh, blessings, sir. Ah, uh, blessings. My blessings. Good wishes. Sir, I want to uh, share something. If you can just. Uh, sure. Uh, you, you what? Uh, is it okay? I stop the recording. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I will stop.